Alright, uh, Apple now. Apple now is not fair. What you are doing is not fair. You check him now. Someone trained you from primary school down to university and then to whatever level you want to go to. Only for you to graduate from school and then you see, say, tell yourself that, oh, this is not my type. He's not educated. Come on now. It is not fair. All these things are happening right in the street. I see them every day. It's not fair. And as for you, Ebuka, Ebuka, because you want to, you know, go to there's the forbidden food. You keep promising to marry this. You promise one that you marry her. You promise one that you marry her. Just because you want to have your way. God never catch you. The day hand will you, you will know. Now let me tell you why I'm saying all this is because in law there's what we call breach of promise to marry. And it's easy. If someone promises to marry on that person and then the person fails on that promise, you can sue that person and recover huge damages as compensation for your emotional trauma that the person has caused you. You have that right. Now, there are just two things that the person needs to prove. One of them is that there was actually a promise to marry. And that the second one is that the person fails to keep such promise. So those are just the two things you need to prove. And then the other party will be held liable for this breach of promise to marry. However, there are defenses to this breach of promise to marry. There are defenses. We have the special defenses and the general defenses. I will start with general defenses. The general defenses are like things pertaining to duress, misrepresentation, and the rest. Let's say, for instance, um, someone pro told you that he or she was related to. Obi Kubana, and when you, because of that, you now promise to marry that person. Later, along the line, you discover that the person is not even related to Obi Kubana. In fact, the Obi in his name was due to the, that the fact that his father appears Obi, his father in the village answers Obi, his father that is a typical farmer answers Obi. So you now assume that it was Obi Kubana. So, and discover that, after upon discovering that he is not related to Obi Kubana in any way, you have to end the marriage. That's a good defense. The person is kind of misrepresenting facts, okay? And you can you can you can rely on that defense if eventually you ended the promise to marry that person. And we equally have the special defenses. This one entails a situation whereby the character of the person or the, that the, you discover the person has um, infirmities. On that ground, you can choose not to marry that person. And the law obeys you that defense. Let's say, for instance, the, upon discovering that the person is um, a promiscuous person, very promiscuous, and you choose to end the marriage, is, you can, when being taken to court, you can rely on that defense alone. And it will avail you. Or, after you must have promised to marry a person, you discover that the person has some infirmities, or is mentally derailed, or any infirmities at all. And you are not, not aware before you made the promise. Come on. You are free to back out. That will serve as a very good defense in that promise to marry. Okay? You serve as a very, very good defense. But there is an there is a thing here. If you are aware that this infirmity is inherent in the body of the person and you still went ahead to make promise, you cannot go back on it now. You knew you already and you went ahead to promise the person that you you, you marry him or she marry him or her. It means that you are aware. And you still went there. So you cannot rely on this defense. It cannot avail you. Just go and be getting your money for compensation. And Emeka, I'm talking to you. Emeka, Ebuka, whichever one that is listening to me. Trust me, you are going to sell your land, your father's land. Now you are become past my neighbor in the village. You sell it just to pay for compensation. So stop, stop promising people marriage. Stop doing that. It is legally wrong. If you know you can't keep it, yeah. Keep to that or adhere to that. Don't promise people marriage. Alright? Make a take easy or listen to what I'm saying. You know? And for you up now, you promise some marriage, they will buy you iPhone, you say yes, I'll marry you. They will buy you this, you say yes, I'll marry you. You now go to the after training you school, you want to now dump the person and go scot free. Young man, you can sue that lady for that. Yes. This breach of promise to marry is not just available to the ladies. It's not just the ladies that can sue. Men can still sue. So men have the right to institute an action for a breach of promise to marry. And when they eventually come out successful or the judgment is being given in their favor, 
they can be paid huge compensation or damages. That's it. All right. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button so that you'll be getting more of this video. All right.